Okay. Does anybody have any questions on the homework from day 56 yes. so far? Yes. So go to the last page. Please. I probably haven't got to it yet. Yeah, it was the ones where the um, page two. The yeah, the L, the ones where they don't have bases. When you do they don't have bases. Oh, the, like, like 10, 19, and 21. When okay. it's bases, when it's back catalog. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. Okay. Okay. What did y'all do yesterday? Logarithms? We did. Logarithms? Yeah. Logarithms. Uh, that was actually the very next thing. Well, no, we talked about natural log thing. Did I mean, natural log means it's log base E. But then you solve it. Wait, so. Um, yes, ma'am. Log base E, but what is E? E is that number that we figured out. So it's, it's, we would use the 2.718. Or the calculator button. Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to do it. So yes. That little chart thing was only for us to understand E. Yes. Okay, so E is 2.718, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's so kind of like pi. Okay. Yes. Has homework 53 been due? Mm -mm. Did y'all get your paper yesterday? Yes. Your okay. notes? Yeah, can I see your notes? Yes. yes. That's the only way because I don't have time to read. So. Well, I probably have time, I just don't. My back is twitching this thing. Why? It's like having a back twitch. Oh, back like a little twitch. spasm thing. Oh. What page are you on? We are on page 478. You can't write with this one. Oh. Okay. Whatever, Emma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thursday. Good question. Last day to make a, to retake your test is Thursday. Ma'am. Did you post the last measure or did you get them from someone? You can get them or all. Did you write my test? Yes. Remind me at the end of class. I'll get back to you. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm it's starting to feel the flow. Now I'm gonna stop my flow. All right, here we go. On page 478, we're supposed to find the value of x on these. So we do the circle method, and these pretend. That's what somebody came and told me. Got it right. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, yeah. So this is one that we could figure out without a calculator. So the first thing we do is the circle method. You want to change it, rewrite it as an exponential. So using that little circle method, we start with the 9. Be 9 to the negative 2 thirds. Now the negative means what are we going to have to do? Flip it. Flip it. So it's going to be 1 over 9 to the positive 2 thirds. And if we didn't have a calculator, this was a non-calculator question, how would we figure that out? That little 2, go ahead. Do the cubic root yes. of 9. Yes. And then you have the negative 2. Yeah, 2. Because oh, you already switched it to 1 over yeah, 9. I wasn't looking at that. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, the number on bottom is the root. So, it's the cubed root of 9. And then the number on top is the power. So, if we took 9. Oh, no, that's not going to take. Why is it? No. We can leave it like that. I was thinking it simplified. Or we could do square it first, which was 9 squared, and then take the cubed root of it. But those are the same. 
I was thinking it came out to be nice and pretty because it didn't. Siri. So if they asked us for an exact value, we could leave it as either this one or this one. If it was on the ACT, which I don't think they'd do them like this, but it would probably be like this one. Like the top one? Yes. Just because it looks pretty. Okay, so now like the one you were talking about, Anna. If it's a natural log, what's the base? E. e. Now, if it was a common log, if it was just L-O-G, then it's 10. So I'm just going to squeeze a little E there, just to remind myself. And then we do... Wait, what does L-N mean? L-N just means the same thing as the natural log base E. And E is Euler's number, which is just 2.718, blah, 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 blah. And you have to use the equation? It depends. If it asks you for an exact value, we would say E cubed equals X, and we'd be done. Is it asking you for an exact value? I don't know. We'll do both. If it wasn't, if it said round to the nearest thousand, which would be three decimal places, the E button is right above the natural log button. It's that E to the X, you have to hit second and then natural log. You want to grab your calculator? You can. So that you know how to type that in. 14. 17. Did you put that in, Emma? Is that what you got? Yes, sir. All right, cool. Emma, what calculator are you going to get? Yeah, I was trying to figure out which one I need to plug in because you said it was almost dead. But I found it. Oh! Okay, so make sure you know how to type in E cubed and get 20.086. How do you get off the Y equals? Hit second and then the button right next to it. How do I code do E E cubed, you go second, and then the natural log button, which is right next to the four down there. Okay, so I hit y equals, and or I hit second after the y equals. Hit second, and then mode right next to it to get rid of the y equals. And it brought me to log the four. Do I just erase that? Yeah, hit clear. And then second, natural log. Second. So like this is how I'll do it. It's right. On the homework of this computer that you're adding in. No. I mean, square root, both sides. Or are you trying to solve it? You're sorry, you need to ask three. Yep. Okay. Yeah. What question did you say they would ask for? They'd ask for the rounded and the nearest tenth. Well, I'm just giving you both. If they asked for the exact value, you'd leave it as e cubed. If they wanted it rounded, 20.086. Okay, let's do another one of these. Y'all try the one at the bottom. That one, the natural log of x plus 3 equals 5. Um, get the answer to three decimal places. Uh, the one at the bottom on the right. Tomorrow, we're going to do Edmentum for 20 minutes. And then we're either going to finish what we don't get done today and then work on your homework, or if you finish what we should get through today, then we'll just work on the homework. Will you still post these homework things for me? Yes. Just wouldn't, it wouldn't be a bad idea to remind you. Okay. You know. You know. 
So we start by making this a little E here, and then doing the circle method. So it's E to the fifth equals X plus 30. How do we solve for X? I solved for E. Yeah, well, E, remember E is a number. Well, I found E. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. And then how would you solve for X? E to the fifth minus three. And if you plug that into your calculator, <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> you should get that. Let me know if you did nine from me. Is that all we're doing today? No. That was just finishing up from yesterday. We didn't finish that. We went over that test. All right, so now you should be completely good to go, even at the end, for... Is that an initial Thank you, Anna. All right, so now we're moving on to page 481, properties of logs. You know, we had properties of exponentials, like... But you don't really have to write this down, but you can. Like if you had a to the m times a to the n, what did we do with those numbers? We added the exponents, right? Well, we know exponentials and logarithms are inverses of each other. 